We go now to our reporter, Laura Windsor. She has a report on rashes in children. Rashes in children are a common occurrence, and knowing what to look for is a key to treating the condition. We asked Dr. James Korb of Children's Hospital of Orange County what parents should be aware of when their child has a rash. Well, in terms of what are the most common rashes in pediatrics, I think you could look at uh, newborn rashes, which newborns have a whole host of different rashes. Uh, in the little bit older kids, we see a lot of eczema, or what we call atopic dermatitis. And then probably getting up into the teen years, acne would be you know, a very, very common rash. There are other rashes that can cause a lot of skin irritation and itching and uh, skin breakdown. For example, eczema could uh, put you at risk for secondary infections of the skin, things like that. And then obviously in the teenagers, uh, acne, when it's real mild, may not be a big deal, but as it gets more severe, uh, it has an effect on their psychosocial functioning, how they feel, how they view themselves, and can lead to scarring. You can get uh, some rashes like from common viral infections where you'll get little red bumps all over the body or you can have allergic reactions where you'll get hives all over the body or you can have some rashes uh, like scabies that might just go to your hands or your feet or your armpits or things like that. Uh, the itching depends on what causes the rash and so for example uh, allergic reactions like when we see hives often will itch. Um, uh, infestations by mites like scabies will often itch. Insect bites will often itch. So often if there's an allergic component, usually to diagnose rashes, it's, it's a combination of the history that you get from the family. So uh, where did it start? Where did it spread to? Is it itchy? Is it not itchy? Um, uh, what did it look like when it started? How has it changed? And then are there any other associated symptoms associated with it? Did you have fever? Did you have a cough? Or things like that. Or also exposures. You know, were you hiking through poison oak or poison ivy or things like that? So often by taking the historical features and then uh, adding into that the, the appearance of the rash and exactly where it is and what type of rash it is, most of the time you can come to a diagnosis without having to do additional tests. The treatment of a rash will depend entirely on what it is. Um, if you have, for example, a little infant who has neonatal acne, that's going to get better on its own in the first three months of life, and we usually just tell the patients, uh, parents, don't worry about it, it's going to get better. Uh, a lot of rashes that we see with viruses, again, will be very temporary, will last the week or week and a half that you have the cold or the virus and then go away. Uh, other rashes, such as eczema, is something that's usually lifelong, although it often improves with time, and so parents have to learn how to manage it, how to deal with moisturizers, adjust bathing, uh, use topical steroids when necessary, treat with oral antibiotics for secondary infections, things like that. So uh, how you treat it will vary a lot depending on exactly what you are treating. We asked Dr. Korb, when should a parent seek medical help? minor little areas of irritation or redness or drying in a child who otherwise is doing well, you know, it's okay for a parent to wait a bit of time and see if it gets better and kind of go from there. Um, little red bumps or a little bit of redness associated with a viral respiratory infection like a cold or something like that, same thing. You can probably watch those kids and if they don't get better, go from there. Uh, I think, you know, for most of our parents, it, it just hasn't gone away and therefore they're, they're, uh, they reach a point where they want to figure out what it is. Uh, or we'll get a child who comes in with a, a fairly diffuse rash with a lot of redness or a lot of bumps or something all over the body and then that concerns the family. So uh, I find that most parents are pretty good at bringing their kids in appropriately for it. Um, and uh, sometimes they bring them in because of the itching that causes the patient or things along those lines. Rashes in children may not always be serious, but if it's from an allergic reaction, seek medical attention immediately. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.